Intermittent fasting has become a popular health trend over the past decade. Many people swear by this eating pattern, finding that it helps them manage their appetite and weight, as well as support optimal health. It might not be right for everyone either for medical reasons or because it doesn't match their vision of a nutritious, sustainable diet. In today's video, we're going to explore some of the pros and cons of intermittent fasting. So without further ado, let's get started. What is intermittent fasting? Fasting intermittently involves consuming no calories for an extended period of time. This period usually lasts between 12 and 40 hours. Water, coffee, and other calorie-free beverages are permitted during the fast, but solid foods and drinks containing calories are not. If you finish dinner at 7 p.m. on Monday and do not eat again until 7 p.m. on Tuesday, you have fasted for 24 hours. It is common for people to fast from breakfast to breakfast or from lunch to lunch. The best time frame depends on the individual. Fasting every other day for 24 hours can seem extreme and may be difficult for many people to maintain, so it's typically not recommended for beginners. The best way to get started with intermittent fasting is to start with shorter fasting periods. Some of the pros of intermittent fasting. At number one is the might support weight loss and improve metabolic health. Intermittent fasting is commonly used to manage weight and metabolic health. Metabolic health refers to the body's ability to process or metabolize energy. Blood pressure, blood sugar, and blood fat levels are often used to measure it. You can create a calorie deficit by fasting or abstaining from food so that your body has fewer calories than it needs to maintain your weight. Most weight loss diets rely on calorie restriction, like fasting, to achieve weight loss. Various types of intermittent fasting have shown to be as effective as other diets that limit your daily calorie intake for weight loss. They're not necessarily more effective. Intermittent fasting that is time-restricted, such as the 16-8 method, has been linked directly to weight loss. Fasting alternate days and following a 5-2 diet are also effective. As well as naturally eliminating calories during the fasting period, intermittent fasting may also help you lose weight by regulating your appetite to increase feelings of fullness while suppressing feelings of hunger. There have also been links between eating patterns and other health improvements, such as lowering blood pressure, improving blood sugar, repairing damaged cells, protecting brain health. At number two is it can be a sustainable lifestyle change. There are times when intermittent fasting can seem complicated and intimidating, but it can also be quite simple. Fasting can even simplify your day since you need to plan fewer meals. Aside from that, it doesn't require you to count calories, watch your macros, eat certain foods you might not be used to, or eliminate certain foods you might otherwise enjoy. Intermittent fasting can be achieved, for instance, by eating early one night and eating late the next, after eating your last meal at 8 p.m. and not eating until noon the next day. You've technically fasted for 16 hours. People who eat breakfast in the morning or who can't eat until later in the evening because of work schedules and other obligations may find this method difficult to adapt to. Other people, however, eat this way instinctively. There may be a greater likelihood of them trying intermittent fasting. At number three is the works well with a nutritious, whole foods diet. Intermittent fasting revolves more around when than what you eat, so it can be easily implemented alongside your existing diet. It won't require any special foods or much deviation from what you usually eat. Fasting might be a good option for you if you're already satisfied with your diet, but are looking for other ways to keep your health strong. Those who want to combine intermittent fasting with resistance training and a high-protein diet might find it particularly beneficial. The point is not to imply that you shouldn't care about what you eat. During your eating window, You'll reap the most benefits intermittent fasting if you eat a variety of nutritious foods and limit ultra-processed foods. Some of the cons of intermittent fasting. At number one is it might go against your intuition. Fasting intermittently requires discipline, restraint, and planning. Many people don't have a problem using those tactics to keep their calorie intake within a designated time frame. But some might find them unnatural at first. If you rely on your intuition to determine when to eat, this may be especially true. If you dislike following a strict schedule, intermittent fasting might be frustrating for you. Aside from that, if you have a schedule that tends to vary from day to day because of work, family, or other obligations, it may prove to be difficult for you to maintain your calorie intake within a specific period of time. At number two is that you'll likely feel hungry. A fast lasting even 8 or 12 hours may seem long if you're not used to it. There may be several times per week when you go to bed hungry. 
there's a possibility that this may be uncomfortable and unsustainable in the long run. Additionally, you may need to override your natural hunger and fullness cues at times in order to ensure that you do not break your fast earlier than you intended. As a result of this, it doesn't mean that fasting isn't a schedule you can get used to over time. After you've adjusted to intermittent fasting, you might even feel less hungry. Several months into the routine, many people find they enjoy it. It is certainly normal and expected to experience hunger and frustration at first. At number three, it's the side effects could affect your mood. One of the first things you might notice when trying intermittent fasting is mood swings aside from feeling more hungry. The reason for this is understandable. Additionally, fasting can cause headaches, constipation, fatigue, and sleep disturbances, in addition to increasing hunger levels. Additionally, low blood sugar levels can lead to irritability and anxiety. It is a common bodily reaction to fasting or calorie restriction. The emotional well-being of the individual may also be another side effect of intermittent fasting that will improve with time and practice. Once you've had a chance to adjust to intermittent fasting, you may even find yourself feeling a sense of achievement or pride over the progress you've made. We hope you enjoyed our video on the pros and cons of intermittent fasting. Many people are considering intermittent fasting as a way to try and lose weight, but it's important to know the benefits and potential problems with the diet. We hope that this video has given you all the information you need to make a decision about whether or not intermittent fasting is the right option for you.